Hi everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Here we are in the garage, ready to go out and do a job. So let's get on with it. Um, why are we doing American Truck Simulator? Well, a couple of reasons. One, we haven't done any trucking for a long time. And two, I have just, um, I was just recording Fern Bus. And uh, after the latest patch, after about 20 minutes, it keeps getting a fatal error. So until they fix that, um, there's not much I can do with that. So there's going to be, obviously, the uh, try to record the bus video, but unfortunately, due to technical issues, that wasn't possible today. So no busing this week. We are going to do trucking instead. So that should be pretty cool. Nice change of pace. And we haven't done any trucking for ages, and I just fancied checking the American uh, Truck Simulator after they've had that patch to extend the um, the distances. Oh, what's the turning circle like on this? Oh, not great. Uh, we're out though. We're out. Yes, and we're here. I'm going to get into that lane. In our lovely Kenworth. Our old fashioned Kenworth, lovely. It's nice to, nice to get back in this, but after just driving that fern bus, oh my goodness, having a nose this long is uh, it's a little bit off putting, if I'm honest. Uh, we're going we're going into the Ken, into the garage, are we? Ah yes. Here we are. Into Volison Voltison Motors. And uh, we are taking a trailer of cars today. Lovely. Uh, there it is. Okay, I wonder what the trailer was in for a second. Give my bad driving. It's been a while. Lovely, look at this, all these cars. Smashing. Right. Under the watchful nose of the security guards. Let's press on. So it's supposed to be a ten hour drive. We're going to, I think we're going to Barstow. And we're here in San Fran. Where's all this traffic come from? Of course, I want to go left up here. Oh, is he going to let me out? Thanks, bud. Right, now I need to get into that after this FedEx or PostX or PostEd. Yeah, jamming up the roads in San Francisco. I'm wondering, actually, should we go that way and go round the loop? Nope. Traffic. Yeah, all right, bud. You didn't see me waving to him, but I did then. As if that makes a blind bit of difference. Oh, I'm going to miss the light. Ah, we're going to be popular. But yes, we're back in truck simmer, and um, it feels good actually. It feels really good to be back in the. Uh, I haven't driven this for months, and in the first couple of minutes of driving around that short space, um, it does have a certain quality to the driving of American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2 that you don't get in other simulator driving experiences. Now, Bus Sim 16 and Phone bus are both enjoyable games to drive, and I like the driving experience. But this, it, it doesn't quite connect the way the trucking simulator driving does. It just feels really good. I'm not, sh I'm not, can't quite play, put my finger on it. It's, it's just uh, a really, really pleasant experience. clock tower over there. Don't know San Francisco at all. So, oh, the lights are going off. 
It's like one of those freaky things. Have you ever walked down a, a, a street at, at night and as you go down, the lights go off with you? It's normally, actually, it's normally in the morning, you know, when it's kind of dusk and it's just getting that kind of morning light coming through. And as the sun rises, the uh, the street lights sense it and they just switch themselves off. If you ever walk down the street when that's happening, it's quite a freaky experience. Especially if they go off as you go under them, which I've happened, it was, has happened to me in the past, so... Yeah, that's kind of freaky. Over the tram tracks back there. Oh, and we're going to go up this bridge by looks of it. Oh yes, we can go right, can't uh, Yeah, right on red. Oh, it's, do we stall? Yeah, kind of. Momentarily stall, there's nothing coming, so we should be able to creep around. When we get on the uh, on the freeway, I'll be able to. Oh, look at that sun in uh, in the sky in the mirror. That's lovely. I should be able to give you a little channel update as well. So we'll do two for one today. That's going to be quite good. Um, I'm disappointed the firm bus didn't work because that was turning out to be quite an entertaining bit of a video. Um, yeah, so I got about 20 minutes done. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some a great footage of um, the police had blocked the road up. And then as we part, we were taken off the road to come back on the road later, um, you saw the second police car blocking that side of the of the uh, the road, and this other police car just came out from nowhere, 80 kilometres an hour, just ploughed into the side of it. It's brilliant. But sadly, you won't get to see that now because that video's gone. I scrapped it because it crashed. Never mind. So I'm sure they'll get on top of that next time, but um, so Firm Bus will come back in a, in a week or two. Um, what I did say in that is that Bus Simulator 16, uh, we've pretty much finished it now. We've got the Mercedes Citaro Bendy Bus to check out, and then that's pretty much it. There's nothing left for us to do. Um, we've done all the challenges. We've uh, done all the missions, um, so what we'll probably do is put that back on the back burner until perhaps there's a new content update, you know, with some more missions or challenges or something. Um, and, you know, it's just going to be one of those videos that's, or series that just comes to an end, and every so often we may do a one-off thing if I'm, I'm short of ideas and, you know, people... You know, once... A video series ends and then it goes out of your memory. Every so often it's nice just to do a one-off video to uh, remind people of what that series was about and they go, oh yeah, that was good. Because it's been a very enjoyable game and a very good fun series to do. I have enjoyed Bus Simulator 16 immensely. Cracking little game. Wasn't expecting much from it, but it turned out to be um, a very enjoyable experience. But what are we doing? We've got a standoff. He's letting me go, I'm letting him go. Thanks, bud. With my rather humiliating horn, thanking him. Yes, yeah, so the road should be quite longer in this. Um, so be prepared for that. Uh, so yeah, so Bus Sim 16. Really enjoyed that. Well worth the money I spent on it. Cracking little game. And it's been a great series, I hope. I'm glad... Most, you know, a lot of you have enjoyed it. It's uh, been certainly fun to uh, to play and do. So, what we'll be doing when we retire, Bus Sim 16, will be to obviously bring in Fern Bus once it's back up and working. Which, you know, it's just the hot patch that came out. Last this week, last week, come on, boy. Um, that seems to have uh, screwed it a little bit. Also, getting some weird glitching in the uh, in the menus. It's it's the music glitching, and it's just really annoying. Uh, so it's obviously broken a few things in the background. Um, so once they get that sorted, I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. So what we'll do. We'll be doing some fur on on Mondays. We'll be doing Fern Bus, 
and I'll be rotating that with some Euro Truck or American Truck Simulator. It won't be Fern Bus, Euro Truck, American Truck Simulator, Fern Bus. It'll be Fern Bus, American Truck Simulator, Fern Bus, Euro Truck Simulator, or it may not be, you know, American Truck Simulator, then two weeks later, Euro Truck. I may do two Euro Trucks in a row or two American Trucks in a row. I just want to get some trucking back on the channel because uh, I've missed it and it's a, it's a nice way to um, talk to you guys and let you know what's going on in the channel. I know a lot of people don't particularly watch the uh, the trucking because uh, they're there for like, uh, the combat -y stuff, but that's fine. Um, but I know there's a lot of people who like just the chill out games like, you know, buses, trucks, and farming, that kind of thing, which I do too. You know, it's all, it's all good. Speeding a little bit here. I'm off, off the throttle, and he's, she's not slowing down very much. So we'll just, we'll just coast down here. Um, the other thing which a lot of people have asked me to look into, and I've said in the past I'll look into it, is OMSI bus simulator. Uh, so what we'll probably do, we'll also bring OMSI into that. I love that um, that slowing down noise, the uh, the old retard or whatever it is. Love it. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll bring OMSI into the rotation as well. So we'll do firm bus, a trucking simulator, an OMSI, and uh, we'll probably get that rotation going as well. So you get, you know, still getting plenty of bus simulating or bus simulator uh, action. With OMSI, it will take me a while to learn the basics because I haven't played that in probably every year and I only started to lightly touch it because I was thinking about doing a series on it and then Bus Sim 16 came out uh, and so, oh, okay, I don't have a, a gear after 13th, that's fine. So yeah, um, OMSI never got the green light, so uh, I'm going to have to sit down with it and play around with it and learn how to do everything. Um, if anyone has a knows of a good tutorial about getting the basics going and learning, yeah, switching on, I can kind of get the, the the buses switched on. It's the it's it's the route machine and the ticketing machines. It, it, mainly the route machine. Once I just need a guide to how to figure out that route machine. If anyone can, anyone knows a good um, guide or a YouTube video. Please link it for me because I would. Um, you may. Uh, YouTube comments being what they are, links tend to get chucked into the spam folder. But um, <laughs> I would appreciate um, any any um, suggestions anyway. And then we can add that into it once I'm reasonably up to speed. So that'd be good. Lots of bus sim. Lots of trucking, and so that'll be the Monday kind of video rotation. Uh, the Wednesday rotation, we have currently Rise of Flight. We're in um, Yasta 8 uh, in the Albatross, and we are going great guns. Six kills to our name so far, and uh, I, I, you seem to be enjoying that series. I'm really enjoying that series, actually, uh, and we'll, we'll take that as far as we can. And once that series, the Rise of Flight series, comes to an end, be it our death, most likely, or imprisonment, uh, we will then look to start a new series of B-17 The Mighty Eighth. And with B-17 The Mighty Eighth, I am looking to do a Squadron Commander run this time. So we'll be in charge of 12 bombers. And of course, you, you're already doing the maths now. That's... 120 crew members in our opening gambit so there are plenty of spaces for people to have their names added to the bomber crew rosters um, so I'll probably do that a slightly different way um, I'll do a video asking for your um, bugger. I'll do a video asking for your um, you know, you're, you're volunteering, uh, and I'll just take it from the the YouTube comments because obviously there's. I doubt I'll have 120 people asking to have their name added. If I do, and we fill them all up, um, 
well, I'll be surprised. But anyway, um, there'll be 120 spaces. I, 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 I hope to, you know, to heaven that I don't get 120 people asking to be in it because that's going to take me forever to type that out. <laughs> that really is. So please don't do that to me. But if, you know, plenty of space for people to have their name added on the roster. Um, so that's what we'll look to do and obviously um, we'll try and get those bombers through our campaign as best we can. Should be fun. Uh, and that, as I said, that will start after the Yast uh, the uh, Rise of Flight Yasta 8 series. Now if the Yasta 8 Rise of Flight series continues for like forever and a day, because you know I just become the best ace of World War One, you know, history has ever known. Um, we'd probably take a pause. So if what's where we're February now, if we're still playing Rise of Flight come April, then we'll probably um, put that series on hold to start the B17 series. And once the B17 series comes to an end, we'll then pick up the uh, Rise of Flight series. But I, I have every expectation I will die soon, sooner than that. So don't worry. Um, so that that's mainly what the Wednesday is going to be. It's going to be kind of like the the combat flight sim. So you, you, in the previous episodes, you would have heard me talking about bringing some more combat flight sim in, uh, and obviously we brought Rise of Flight in with to complement B-17, the Mighty 8. And I'm looking to keep those on a Wednesday because that seems to be a nice, a nice, you know, to get everyone over that midweek hump, you get a nice video of either B-17 or Rise of Flight, you know, very popular videos and kind of gives everyone a lift halfway through the week. Then we come to Friday and Friday is on a rotation, similar to how we're going to start with the Monday one. Uh, Friday's on a rotation with a number of games. Uh, Farm Simulator being uh, the one that's been on recently, but I'm also going to rotate that with other games, uh, the one-off videos that I'm thinking about. So the more permanent series that I'll rotate will be Farm Simulator. We'll get some Train Simulator in there as well, because we haven't done any anything on the trains for a long time, uh, and also bring some of the world of subway games back into it and they'll all be on a, a kind of a rotation it won't be one week this one week the next you know uh, it will be you know whatever comes next basically uh, however I, however I feel that I want to record that week um, and there'll also be some other games coming on so the Friday just gone I know this this will be coming out on Monday I'm recording this actually on a Thursday the 16th uh, expecting this to come out on the Monday but tomorrow on the Friday the 17th should be a video coming out and it's naval action just keeping it a, um, a checkup on how naval action is uh, is developing for those of you who don't know well you'll be able to see check out the video by now um, but it's it's kind of like a oh, what's exactly that it's a naval uh, combat game set in the uh, 17th 18th century? Was it 17th century? Uh, 1600s? Or was it? Is it seven? So 17th century would be 1600s, and the 18th century would be the 1700s. And I think it kind of spans mid 16 to somewhere in the 1730s. So I don't know what the the actual range of the uh, the game time is, but it's kind of that classical. Um, Wooden ship, you know, wooden sailing ships, you know, pirates, all that kind of thing on the Spanish main, and it's all around the the Caribbean. Uh, massive map, uh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's well worth checking out if you haven't. Uh, really do enjoy that. It's uh, it's a classic. Uh, it's something I've been supporting since very early stage. I think the first time they were um, looking for people to fundraise and um, basically before it, it came to Steam on early access uh, I purchased it through their website to uh, not only support them but also to uh, to get you know a copy of the game when it released so yeah I've been in that since the early 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 alpha when it was just the uh, the, the 
basic of testing the most simple things but um, yeah it's developed into quite a nice little game now really enjoyable as I say I went back to do that one video got into a bit of a scrap in a, in a bit of a fleet battle and it was thoroughly enjoyable I really enjoyed it so I'll check it, be checking out that um, in the future as well so yeah naval action that'll also go into the uh, the list of videos naval action probably won't be a, a weekly or, or, or you know a video every couple of weeks be as and when I feel like it but yeah farm simulator the train simulator flight simulator uh, FSX and P3D um, I'll do some videos on that and that will also go into the rotation people seem to enjoy the uh, the flight video I did for uh, Sri Lankan independence the other day um, so yeah I'll get some flights recorded and bring that in there as well um, and yeah uh, and anything else that takes my fancy so that's going to be the Friday so you know I don't want it to become a a stale I don't want the channel to become stale by just having the same you know four series on every week so the idea of the Monday and the Friday is to bring in different videos uh, just to keep it a little bit fresh while the well the, some of the mainstream popular video series kind of keep their weekly betting which should be quite good that's that's my theory anyway. that's what I've got going through my head uh, and on Saturdays we've got Silent Hunter 5 really enjoying that we've just now started our our second ooh, campaign mission happy times oh we've completed the first bit of the timeline as it were bit of a stall bit of a hill start now or oh, the heavy trailer behind us we can do this silent hunter will go until we die I guess and then um, we will look to take a break from Silent Hunter 5 and we'll do something else. Now there's been some suggestion to uh, play some other Silent Hunter games like Silent Hunter 4 has been suggested. Um, what I might do I might see if there's any um, like other naval style games out there and maybe do that. I do have another game in mind which I might bring in, it, bring in, in a short time. Um it's not naval, uh, but it is combat related, um, and it could be something different. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a series on it yet, or if I'm going to do some one-off missions and just bring those into the random videos as well. Uh, I do have a number of really, I think, good ideas for potential video videos, but they're going to be quite... Um, extensive time period to create so uh, I'm just thinking at the moment trying to work out how I'm going to do them they're going to be quite random um, but hopefully they'll appeal to many of you who watch my channel if you watch my channel you probably like you know simulators you probably like a little bit of history with all the uh, historic stuff I do um, and yeah so you may you may enjoy some of the things I have, the ideas I have, it's just um, I've got plenty of ideas, it's trying to figure out how to implement them and get around the uh, technical limitations that we have but yeah, stand by for those, hopefully when I get a bit of free time um, well, I'll, I'll sit down and figure that out um, a prior warning bit of news uh, I may be moving house later this year, so there may be a little bit of um, disruption. Basically, um, my partner, my girlfriend, she's uh, looking. She's a teacher, and she's becoming going to go for a deputy headship. And obviously, we're looking outside of where we're currently living. She's looking to go closer to where her sister lives, which is to the southwest of the country. Um, and looking to sort of start in the summer, so it could, well, you know, the uh, the September time. So in the summer, we could well be moving house. So there may be a little bit of disruption coming there. But that should be good. It's all good. Got to do these things once in a while. Um, 
so that's pretty much the TAF and Exile channel sorted. The TAF's Exile Extra channel, if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out. It's, uh, oh, if I do say so myself, it's, uh, I love it. It's a good little channel. It's where I can play those games which don't really fit on this channel. And uh, so it, we've got currently we've got survival games on there, we've got management games on there. And, well, we do have um, Ski Region Simulator on there. So those of you who used to watch Ski Region Simulator, that's now on the second channel. And that goes every other Saturday. So that's uh, that's every two weeks you get a new video of that. Um, so, yep, this series is continuing on that channel. So don't fret for those of you who think it's just died. And uh, the other two series we currently still have running are This is the Police, which is a management style vi uh, video game where you have to manage a police department to not only make enough money for your retirement in six months but also to uh, meet all the demands of the Mafia, City Hall, the police department and all the outside pressures that come along with that. It's a cracking game, really enjoying it. It, it didn't really have much of a fanfare when it came out but uh, towards you know the, the tail end of last year but it's absolutely corking game the voice acting in it is brilliant uh, it's a cracking game go and check it out if it appeals to you I would recommend you buy it if you're a little unsure wait for it's on a steam sale uh, it's fantastic you know oh tumbleweeds and the other series is one we've done on this channel is the long dark it's a wilderness survival in the deepest freezing wastes of some place in Canada um, where well this, there's not a story mode at the moment it's just a, kind of a sandbox mode which is going on they haven't completed the story but it, it's something to do along the lines of some sort of electromagnetic pulse or something which knocked out most technology like planes and batteries and power and yeah the usual stuff um, and uh, yeah <laughs> you're stuck in the wilderness and you've got to survive um, and there's not only is one of the biggest killers obviously the weather and the temperature but also things like um, wolves and bears will try and kill you uh, there are there you know obviously there's hunting with um, rabbits and deer there's you can go and gather plants to try and survive to make concoctions you know medicines and you can use the the furs and stuff to make clothing and uh, you can have to gather wood obviously for fires to cook obviously meat from the harvest uh, from the hunting for food but there's also obviously canned food and stuff around which from the, the like the uh, abandoned houses and little villages uh, so there's loads of stuff you have to kind of scavenge and survive really really good game and it's got a really beautiful sort of like car not quite cartoony but um, I don't know what it is it's this beautiful art style though stunning absolutely stunning well worth it if um, you like survival games the long dark is one of the best ones I've played I have to say it's one of the best ones and I'm really enjoying this um, this current playthrough it's uh, it's great fun uh, so that's what's going on the second channel as well no plans to change anything at this point obviously those video series will end obviously long dark when I die and probably this is the police when I get fired because uh, that's the other thing you know we've been very close to getting fired a couple of times um, it's going to slow down a bit because we are speeding and no doubt we'll get the Rosas drive by um, so yeah, so I've got a couple of series in mind, but what I'm probably going to do is put it to a vote on what you'd like to see after that. Um, speak of the devils. Uh, I may go back and do Sir so You're Being Hunted, might do a series on that. Um, Subnautica is a possibility. I'm thinking about maybe doing some Total War. Just a motorbike in the middle of nowhere. Um, yeah, might do some Total War. Um, maybe some um, Mountain Blade you know I, the, anything goes on that channel pretty much uh, I may do uh, the odd brace yourselves I might do a Minecraft episode or two 
Um, I'm not looking to get into Minecraft, so don't ask. Um, but I did say when I hit 5,000 subs, I would do some Minecraft, and I haven't got round to doing it yet. Don't worry, I have not forgotten. What I would like to do, ideally, is to have the time to sit down one evening, let you all know that we're going to do a live stream, and then say, look, it's going to be the Minecraft live stream. This is, we're just going to go basic stuff because I don't know Minecraft at all. And get as many people who want to play. Well, I say as many people. I'll probably only get a small server. But, um, you know, I'll get some people in. Uh, and we'll do a couple hours of Minecraft. And I'll post that up as the Minecraft video. And then I feel like I've, I've kept my word. And, and done that. Uh, there's also some Seven Days to Die I want to... Uh, have a look at as well um, and also life is feudal do you remember that it was a game still in early access I think actually or has it come out I'm not sure it's all about you know medieval peasantry lifestyle and it's actually a really it's a slow paced game but it's one that can be quite gripping if you're playing it I'm not sure how much fun it would be to watch that's the only problem but, you know, you basically start out with nothing and you can learn all these different skills. Depending on the skill cap, um, you know, you could be limited to what profession you go down. But, um, you know, you could do medieval farming if you really wanted to. Or you can do masonry, carpentry, all sorts of things. So we might do something on that. I feel those games would probably work better in a live stream environment with other people. Um, but, as I've said in the past, I've just... I'm not around enough to be able to um, do live streams at the moment. I'm just incredibly busy. You know, what with work's gone crazy, and it has been crazy for the last. just before Christmas. You know, it should have slackened off by now, but um, unfortunately, the customer we're working on, the account I work on, they've, um, they're going through a. basically, they signed a contract about a year ago, and now we're upgrading all the basically everything all the solutions they have and of course if you if you bring in new solutions new technologies and um, they're kind of until everything's up to scratch you, you're kind of bodging everything together old technology with new technology and as you can imagine it's causing no end of problems so yeah uh, work is super crazy busy um, and not letting me do not let me have the time to do the things I need to do and of course life's incredibly busy as well um, looking for possible places to live and um, all sorts of you know, the usual life life has a way of getting in the way if you know what I mean but in a good way because you know it's better to be busy than to be bored as I always say so I I purposely get myself involved in quite a bit so I'm always busy and the archaeology is looking to kick off again this year in a big style. We've been working on a project for the last three years and this year looks to be the one where we finalise the project outline and we look to take that to the TV companies and to the um, to the other uh, sites and villages where we're going to do the, do the work. Um, so that could take off as well this year. So, <laughs> I am working hard to keep the videos frequent um, and I think I can keep on top of the videos at the moment there may be the odd time when I, I miss it you know like a couple of the bus ones have been a day late um, if I'm gonna be super busy and I can only get a couple of videos out then I will apologize but I'll only get a couple of videos out that week but hopefully it won't come to that and I'll be able to do a fairly decent job um, what are we riding backwards it's not uphill. That was a bit bizarre. Okay. Well, I hit the brakes that hard that um, we started rotting back. Bizarre. Right, here we go. The moment I've been dreading. Can I park this thing after all this time? It's a rail export site. Cool. Right, so we have... A tricky one. The problem is I'm not quite sure where that is. That actually doesn't look that hard. But it probably is. That one's there. Oh, so that one's there. So where's that one? It's 
See, this is it. I want to. I want to be able to. S oh, I've got to reverse around that corner. Is that it? Okay. Sod that. <laughs> Sod that for a, a laugh. We'll just sling it next to these uh, boxes. Hello, sunshine. I wouldn't stay there, mate. Yeah, watch your toes. So basically, I think we'd have to drive up there and reverse it all the way around the corner. Yeah, I'm not fancying that for a laugh. There we go. We're in. Lovely. Look at that. Glorious. Boom. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Job complete. Excelente. Not bad for six months off. Cars delivered from San Fran to Barstow. Distance driven, 405 miles. Time taken, 37 minutes. Fuel consumed, 70.4 gallons. World of Trucks con contracts completed, 37. Wow. We are level 17, entrepreneur. Uh, base reward of $15,737 and 653 XP. Proficiency, level 16, two point, uh, two five one seven dollars Long distance delivery bonus rank 3 is $1,513 and 163 XPs. And fragile cargo bonus rank 2, $1,513 once again, dollars and 143 XP. And bonus for parking the trailer, 15 XP, which is a total of 21,280 XP. No, it's not. It's 21,280 dollars and 974 XP. Boom, we get another point to spend. So we could do long distance, or we could do high value cargo, fragile cargo. What's high value cargo will give us? Rank six, high reward, 5% increase for high value delivery. Or fragile cargo would be rank three, 15% high reward, 5% increase on fragile. Uh, let's just max out the high value then. All that money is really an issue. We've got 30 million in the bank. Thanks to all that driving I did online a few months ago. But yes, so there we are. Thanks for watching. I know this hasn't been your bus simulator, but uh, I hope a bit of truck simulator and an update on what's going on is, um, is ample substitution for uh, missing out on your busing. Uh, as I say, I did attempt to do a phone bus, but that did crash. So I'll probably look to do maybe a phone bus next week if it's fixed, and may or maybe a bus sim 16. We'll get definitely get a bus video in next week. Um, either way. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time on the roads.